Hello, I'm Howard Lake from UK Fundraising. Welcome to day three of Blackboard's BBCon, the global virtual conference, uh, which is linking uh, thousands of fundraisers um, around the world with some astonishing talent and experience uh, that is being shared by various speakers. Um, if you haven't registered for it yet, you still can. It is free to register. Um, and even though you've missed some two days content already, don't worry, you can register and then get access to all the recorded content uh, up until about November the 18th. At the moment, um, we're watching, watching Leslie Pinder and Lucy Caldicott uh, talk about their amazing experience um, over the last five years of building up a 14,000 fundraiser strong virtual chat group, which is fundraising chat on Facebook. Um, you may well have used it. If you haven't, do dip in there. It's fabulously busy, full of wonderful fundraisers asking questions, and getting really, really good quality advice and support as well. I think it's been particularly valuable over the last six months um, following the COVID, um, the arrival of COVID-19. So um, they're live now. Let's go and see what they're talking about. Um, we will go and see, hear what they're up to. quite inspiring um, and as a personal lesson I suppose one of the things I've, I've had to learn a lot is just about letting go a little bit and letting the group lead itself and I, I hate conflict so I'm forever hovering on a topic that looks like it might start kicking off and then actually realising that the conflict and the debate is a, as long as it remains civil and everyone is cool to one another which is one of our rules that debate is important and it's and, and, and and it's brilliant to have the sort of practical, tactical support around where to get balloons and how to write a how to write a press release for a community and event. You know that is brilliant, but it should also be a space to debate some of the bigger issues around fundraising. And if we over moderate and over control that, it makes people afraid to to debate and discuss. And when people do tip over the edge, then often people, the members themselves, um, will point that out. And if if in doubt, they flag it. To us, um, and then we then we can take moderate the action. But yeah, I think the the last few months have been really um, have shown us a lot about about what what fundraising chat can be and mean. And I think there's been a lot of. I mean, we'll we'll, we'll I guess we'll touch briefly on Black Lives Matter, which is different. But for there's been a lot of sort of campaigns in the sector recently around like salaries and recruitment, um, and I think what we're keen is that the fundraising chat is a space for everybody to discuss and, and share and for us to amplify those campaigns um, but it was never set up as a campaigning group so it's a really hard balance to, 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 to make Lucy and I are both big change like we like making change and we like improving the sector so what we're, we're in this space now is like what is the role of fundraising chat in, mo in driving positive change in the sector um, and how do we do that in a way that doesn't feel like people are, are now in a group that they thought was about just chatting with each other that's become about, that's become like more political with a small p. The one place where we didn't have any discussion and debate around that was, was when it came to Black Lives Matter and Lucy put up, you put up a, a, a statement pretty much straight away about that so I wonder if you wanted just to share a bit about what how we took our position in that situation. Yeah, because as, as Leslie says, you know, we hadn't set this up to be a campaigning sort of effort. You know, it was simply a forum for people to connect with each other and, and have conversations. But when you've got something like George Floyd's murder and everyone's talking about that in every other space, um, it felt completely negligent to not do something in fundraising chat and we've got to remember we've got thousands of members in there and I was really um, keen to ensure that every single member in there felt safe that it was this was a safe space that they, that they had their back um, so so I put you know I put up a, a post and we were discussing it in the background you know well is this should we do this one it and it was like well yes yes we should and um, and I'm really proud it's been our most liked post I mean, and to be honest, I, I didn't allow comments. I just put, this is our statement from the founders and admins, and obviously, you know, we agreed it as the five of us, you know, about, um, you know, we support um, the Black Lives Matter movement. This is, a, you know, 
important de debates are going on and, and I'm, you know, I'm closing this to discussion, this is the space that we are and we, we've got something like 620 likes or something which is the most liked um, or loved or whatever um, sort of uh, uh, post. So I, I was proud of the community we've built really. I think you know, it is a safe space that, that kind of shares our values that, um, and, that, and I suppose that experience the experience of COVID and the, all the different supports that have gone on, I think spin-off groups that we'll never know about, you know, the sort of kind of relationships we'll never know about that have come, you know, come to for, you know, come to uh, form as a result of the group is, is, is something that's really special. So, so that was uh, Lucy Caldercott and before her, uh, Lucy, uh, sorry, Leslie Pinder. Um, that's got going on live. Uh, that's kind of the quality of what you're getting. Um, if you've registered for uh, for BBCon, I'm going to move on now and just give you another um, a few ideas of what's going on and how people are following and updating um, content on uh, or covering the the event. Um, this is uh, one of the wonderful sketch notes from Mandy Johnson, um, who many of you might know has actually now set up a business because she's done so well. Uh, with uh, her sketch notes of live reporting from conferences, from seminars, webinars now as well. And somehow she just manages to convey the content of some fabulous speakers in wonderful, concise graphic format um, and in very, very engaging ways. So Mandy uh, has been very busy during BBCon um, listening to and producing pretty much by the end of each session a wonderful visual summation summary of what the speakers have been talking about so I do encourage you to have a look through these um, as I say they're just there's so many of them she's been really really very very busy and what I also like about um, her sessions um, is that she will also do usually a kind of a, a quick um, video of, of the whole creation process so um, do go and follow Mandy Johnson online and do recognise that she actually has a business, uh, Sketchnotes UK. She set up a company to do this, um, which is a wonderful way of, of understanding and getting a sort of short summary of, say, a half hour or three quarters of an hour presentation. Um, really, really very clever. Um, i say there's more and more of them. You can find them all there um, on Twitter. She's sharing them and probably on other, other channels as well. Um, so you get to see the whole whole process, the creative process, in very very short time. So that's the very very able Mandy Johnson. Um, just to say, coming up next after Lucy and Leslie is Martha Awujobi. Um, she will be talking about the first ever BAME conference that uh, was run to great success uh, just a month or two back uh, with the help of Simon and Nikki of Fundraising Everywhere, which we heard speak at BBCon just yesterday, or was it the day before? Um, you can find out what's going on at BBCon um, from the hashtag. If you just follow the hashtag, hashtag BBCon, I'll get out of the way. Um, and you can keep up to date with all the various reactions and, and information on what is available, all the different subjects from the Blackboard conference. So thank you very much indeed for joining me for the last three days. Um, keep enjoying the conference and I will keep reporting on it on UK Fundraising. Thank you very much. <laughs>